Here we are, gang. Once again, Sunday evening. Everything's out of sync for YouTube. Once again, I found this inability to try to connect this to Twitter. That, you know, this is like something going on here, something within the software for YouTube. I know it's not my fault. But that's neither here nor there. So we'll do this quick. It's Sunday evening. And a lot going on. Uh, first thing I'll start with is how about VCU? I mean, I've said on here before, you know, I got a nephew going, he does not play basketball for them. But uh, it took it to Kansas. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know, I, I, I seriously thought before this game started, I, I had this feeling VCU was in over their heads. I got proven, well, I wouldn't say I got proven wrong, but. I got, it's just, I, I think this is just, everybody has underestimated them. And now this sets up at least one uh, Final Four matchup is now we have VCU and Butler. If CBS has any sense, put this as your primetime game, not your 5 o'clock game or 5.30 or whatever the hell they're going to do this. You know, this game would need to be on like 8 o'clock. Yeah, let all of America see this because, <laughs> you know, this, this is, that's going to be the game. That'll be the better game of the two. Uh, uh, the other game, by the way, would be, would be UConn against the winner of Kentucky and Carolina. And that game's going on. I'm not watching that. I'm busy making this video for all of you. <laughs> oh, well. So, you know, there's your surprise there. Uh, let's see, what else was on? So, while I was busy watching the VCU game, I was trying to listen to the Nationals on radio. You know, they were playing the Marlins. Jumped out for the 3-1 lead after, well, after six innings. Turned it over to the bullpen in the seventh, and, seven, and bullpen betrayed them. Gave up five runs. The final score was Marlins winning this thing 6-3. I was not even listing that much. I was just catching here, there, everywhere. I was too busy watching the BCU game. Oh, well. But at least now there's two games left here for spring training. They play Atlanta tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And then they play the Mets Tuesday afternoon. And then that's it. The buddy breaks saying you hit the Washington and all that. There is one other Nationals note, dude. I think everybody might know this, or maybe you don't know it. Uh, Niger Morgan shipped to Milwaukee. And who they got back in return, besides the cash, was Cutter Dykstra, Glenn Dykstra's son. Uh, I don't know what level he was playing. I don't know what level ball he was playing for the Brewers. My best guess is going to be that the, the Nats are going to sign him. I don't know, Harrisburg. I don't know where it's going to but it's going to be somewhere in the minors. Like, he's an infielder. We got infielders as it is. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I, kind of, I should have suspected something was up uh, yesterday. I was listening, again, I was listening to the Nats on radio yesterday. And. You know, they made this mention Nigel Niger Morgan was playing in the minor league game. You know, to get all the, the, the Nats minor league players against the, I guess the, uh, oh, God, I'm drawing a blank here. Help me. Oh, the Astros. Thank you. <laughs> it took me a moment. <laughs> uh, I, I guess they were going up against the Astros minor league or whatever. Anyway, that's where Nigel Morgan went, and that should have, that should have been the, the sign of everybody, but we all missed it. So, so it means Rick and Keel gets some center field job, and uh, so that's it. Uh, now we'll see what happens come Thursday when the season starts for real. Uh, uh, I'm just getting tired of seeing the standing here doing this, and everything's about a second late. The picture's about a second late. <laughs> 
goddamn things out of sync. This is going to piss me off more. I may just shut this fucking channel down and, and see if I can do something on Ustream or someplace else. This is just starting to aggravate the shit out of me. Yeah, but at least, you know, at least people are still responding, so. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. Uh, damn ear keep popping, folks. That's why I keep doing this. Uh, one quick note before I shut this thing off. Rose Marlin, I did read it. No, uh, I don't get HBO. So I, I did not see the uh, the uh, the deal there. Uh, a bit of a wonderful little documentary or, or mini-series, more or less, uh, that did with the Caps and the Penguins. It was leading up to the Winter Classic on New Year's Day. Uh, I, as I said, I did not see it. I was told about Part 1, uh, where... Boudreaux dropped a whole bunch of f bombs. <laughs> now, my brother gets HBO. Actually, he has satellite TV, so he gets HBO, and that, he was telling me the story. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Maybe we better thing to come out on DVD. Um, I might get my hands on it. Oh well. All right, this damn thing is just so fucking out of sync. It's just pissing me off. So I'm gonna stop for the uh, we uh. For the day, for the weekend, all that. Uh, I will promise this much. Maybe it's not a guarantee, but I will say this much. I will make a video Wednesday. I think I got it. Uh, I will do it Wednesday about my, you know, my take on the Nationals, what they're going to do this year, everything. I'll, I'll, I'll set it up this much. This is not a last place team. In my opinion, it's not a last place team. And I will say it's not a division winner, it's not a wild card team, but we're not going to finish last. So I'll just leave you all with that, and you'll just have to tune in like Wednesday. <laughs> so, that's it. I'm going to get out of here. This damn thing's pissing me off. So we will see you when I decide to make another video. So adios, motherfuckers. Enjoy what's left of your Sunday. Uh, watch whatever the hell you want to watch. Uh, and we will see you soon.